Well, I didn't want to interrupt you, like be all rude and say, uh, hello, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> sure you can. <laughs> hello, hello, shut hello. Up. <laughs> It doesn't bother me, Eddie. <laughs> hello. Let's see who comes in. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely talk. Oh, and uh, let me see. This is good. Is it even part of the chat? What? Nope. All right. Yeah, I need to... Um... Oh, here I go. Hello. I'm going to put in the private chat for you uh, what it's called. All right, yeah, and I'm going to get my computer. I forgot I need my computer so I can see you when you're working. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. <laughs> God. You you would think I haven't done StreamYard ever before in my entire life, but I have, well, have honestly. <laughs> Isabel, Izzy, hi, honey. Oh, when you get your invoice from um, D, uh, the Vintage Chippy, you'll find you'll see a little surprise on there. Hi, Taylor. Welcome in. Hello, hello. We have Tammy and uh, Ward in uh, the clouds with us. Hello. Type something in chat. They don't know who you is. Hello. I'm y'all. Oh, we it's have a me. What? What? Yeah. Oh no, you put it put it that loud. Ooh. <laughs> Boy, look up here. What up here? Look up here. Look up at the face. Say hello. Up here. Up here. There we go. Yeah. Um, What'd you say? Oh, nothing. I was talking to my son. Hold on. Oh. I'm going to turn you down for just a second. Yeah. No, yes. I need my computer, Chris. Okay. And my charger for it, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering where you went yesterday, too, Miss Izzy. And then I got your message. I'm like, oh, that would be why. <laughs> Wait for a few more people to come in. You'll have to forgive Tammy. She's acting brand new and she typed in private chat and not like I that. did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Share this live out with all your friends, girls. I need to. I.E. Not that it really matters because, you know, we're going to call her late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I will answer to any name. Thank you. Right? We don't care. <laughs> Till two this morning. Oh, you poor girl. Uh, yeah, because it went out, what? Uh, what was that? Yeah, I'm just doing a thing with my friend on computer. Then, Finally, a company with data plans that fit your lifestyle. Only pay for the data you need. Tammy is shopping on now. Network with unbeatable 5G reliability. Make the switch today to a plan fit for you. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. We're going to make more. You guys, were, I don't know if you guys were here when I did, uh, we had an inky session um, during the week. This is one of my favorite ways uh, to make papers. And I call them ghosted papers because if you look really close, even when there isn't color, you'll see the ghost, you'll see the, the line. Like here, there's like very little color. You can still see, you still see, get a um, pattern from the stencil or whatever you use. There's Chris, hi honey. Yeah, yesterday. So we're gonna make this, but then we're gonna do something else to this once we make some of these. And I got in, I don't know, sometime two months ago or whatever, a couple of dishes. Um, one was, well, both were from an auction, but one um, has been well loved, which I love. And then I think I got this one from Melody. Um, and
and then I bought, I got this one, another sale, came in this package, not that old, but it has a barcode and everything, um, probably from Amazon or something, I don't know, I don't know where it, both of these are from, that's my point, um, and we're going to use a, a different set of inks today, okay, and then we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do a couple other things to it to uh, jazz it up from this. But you'll see. You'll see when we get there. Chris, Chris, Chris Snow, she saw me do this before. Okay, so I got four pieces of eight and a half by 11 uh, U.S. size paper here on my big craft mat. And now we got to decide, do we want to use the same colors, but of course the papers will all be different um, for the four, or do we want to use this, the different colors for all, diff all four of them? You guys decide. Yeah, Tammy is actually, um, oh, oh my goodness. Let's see if she's ready. Yeah, are you are you going to sell these? Huh? Are you going to sell these? <laughs> you start doing movie already? <laughs> well, if you're going to sell I'll them, then, then I would do four of the same color. Well, I could do all the colors. <laughs> this is just for, for play and see what we get. I mean, I know what we're kind of going to get, but you'll see. But we're gonna, cause we're gonna take them from just gel prints and do a little more to them. Um, but eventually, yes, it, all my papers go into packs or I use them in journals. Um, but I end up selling a lot to you guys because I can't use all of them. Although I am kind of low on paper these days. I'm laughing. This about but going I, me me. My point is, is because do you not remember the button screen we had the other day? Mm -hmm. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, well, I wasn't planning on selling that day either. So the answer to my question is not today. <laughs> That's where I was going with that. <laughs> Hush. I, I did nothing. Don't start with me. <laughs> okay, look, Tammy is not behaving already. <laughs> I invited a couple other people if they end up coming on live. It might be too late. I know um, Liz was uh, with her husband and um, what do you call it? Nels wasn't feeling good. So they may not make it into the stream. Who knows? If anybody else wants to come on live, well, by all means. Okay, so I'm getting them kind of nice and wet. Then we're going to take this. And the reason why I'm doing it nice and wet is because this, unlike a stencil, is a little bit lighter weight. And I want to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, it's going to, do I got it on the right side? No, I don't. I got it on the right side. That it's going to stick. Remember, if you watch or you've seen me do this before. You may remember that the stencil has, or whatever you're using has to suction to the paper. Thanks, Izzy. Chris, how about you? You want to come on live with us? Yeah, Chris, come on. <laughs> She'd be like, hell no. <laughs> Chris, my arm was twisted. It's not lace. It's actually uh, like a, this is a um, an, uh, a plastic lace tablecloth. So just, yeah. Um, 
I don't know. Here's the barcode. If you want to see what the barcode number is, maybe that will help. I don't know. Um, doesn't say anything else. Could have been, um, I don't think I had a piece of paper. Did I have a piece of paper? Wait. Oh, wait. Here. Here. This one. This is what it would look like. Maybe. Let's see. See, it's a vinyl tablecloth. Mm, but no, you can't have that because <laughs> it's for this for <laughs> Chris is like, oh, thanks, hello. Krista. Bevy, hello, hello. Welcome in, dear. Come on. Hello, I'm Beverly. Because it's brand new. This is the first time I'm pulling it out, even though I've had it for a couple months. Um, paper. Or um, you know, it hasn't been flattened really good yet. So still got some folded parts that may not want a suction at my point, which is I'm okay with. I am okay. Yeah, a lot of times you can find the lace tablecloths on the big rolls like at Walmart or Joanne Walmart. Fabrics. There, to so use. Sometimes you can find deals on Amazon on them. Oh yeah. I have a few of them. Um, these I just happen to have gotten at auctions. Um, okay, so it's nice and it's nice and but nice construction. Just pat it down again. Um, I know you said steampunk, but I'm. Uh, we want steampunk. Does everybody want agree with steampunk, or do we have different opinions going on here? Chris and I want purple. Chris probably wants blue or teal. No, she oh. wants purple. Trust me. <laughs> She's got you pegged, Chris. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't want to come on stream. Hey. <laughs> it's you too, Izzy. <laughs> I, I, I learned Isabel uh, internet raspberries. With the pee, 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 pee. <laughs> Oh, Izzy wants purple too. A Taylor wants blue and purple. Chris said purple and teal. Okay, teal and purple it is. All right. I just want to make sure. Now, the inks I'm going to use today are these ones. These are the PH Martin. Um, come on, baby. There we go. Spectralite liquid acrylic inks. These are movers and shakers. Uh, number one, attribute. Number two, attribute. Um, they, when you mix the metallics in um, with some of the other colors and they kind of just move around on the paper or whatever, you can get some really interesting effects with it. Um, so we may or may not get none, but we're going to create our own anyway, so whatever. Um, but I really want to use these because I need to, I really need to use them up um, before they, you know, they're not anywhere close to drying up, but that's why I chose these today. No other rhyme or reason. So we want, I also have this, this is Bombay Violet. We're going to, since we're doing purple, we're going to add a little bit of that in there. I don't know what it's going to do. It doesn't matter what it's going to do. Here's regular violet. And because you guys know, if it's, like I said, if it ain't tied down, bolted to the floor, walls or ceiling, and it ain't the kitchen sink, it's all good in mixed media. It doesn't matter. Which other color? Well, well, Shauna, all we care about is that your bungee cord to the ceiling right now. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to let you guys choose which one of these you guys want to see. What's this? Because one's more teal and one's more turquoise. Now, Shauna, what's the difference between these and the FW inks? Uh, well, a, a couple things. Um, these move more. Like I said, these are real potent in the moving department. Um, they, they, FWs are really nice because they have the really nice consistency, not too thin. Um, and they do move really, really well because I paint with both. These are just, I mean, just this watch. I'm just going to get the tiniest little drop and you're going to see how much more. Oh, is it cool? You son of a bucket. Hold on. Or not. Let me get one. Anchor so debacle. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to use my brush mostly anyway, but I get just a little drop. 
see how it has the it just automatically moves all like crazy fine okay the fws are a little bit more viscous which i like um but they're not overly thick let me get this one Let's see Um, but really, uh, technically, um, both are permanent once they're dry. So, because they're they're acrylic based. Now, do they dry true to color, or do they are they do they bleh, do they, they lighten they, up when they dry? All water soluble or water um, pro, water consistent. Product, right. Um, well. So, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. But you get totally different reactions and you get way more movement with these than you do with FWs. But these are, these are concentrate where uh, uh, these are um, richer pigment or, or heavier pigment, I would say. Okay. So that's, I mean, and that's how you get more of a, a deeper, uh, and more viscous consistency than these. Um, as far as like the differences in what they're made with, um, I can't, I, you know, each company, then they're not going to. Right, not it's different, with. right. Yeah, they do, they do use, these are highly, high, highly, both companies, I love both companies, both com companies, um, and it's all, and it, I think it's only these, because the other ones are more water uh, color types, but these, are um they have a uh, a light fastness to them um and high pigment load um so it just really just depends on how how liquid you want it you get much more coverage than here this I okay. can, you can move both of them until they're dry they both have that you know and then like i said they're permanent like um acrylic pro like an acrylic paint but the reason why i want to use these is because they move a lot a little bit more a bit not much but more um, right and i want to use them up there was one other thing i was going to mention about these um these are pricier um but again you get more concentrated pigment i mean i don't know it just depends on what you want it to do because every every product is different right not jibber jabbering. Oh, you guys needed to decide which color you wanted. That was that was the whole point before I got crazy with showing you guys that. But I don't mind rabbit trails, honestly. Okay, so this one is the more green. This one's the more blue or aqua. I think this is, is this the one? Oh, this is not the one that's clogged. That put some blue down, but it doesn't matter. Let's see. So you can see one is more, one is more blue and one was more green. And I did fix my camera, so you're, you're getting the the more true color. These are. I'll show you again. One one second. No, we're not. Um, we're just doing two colors. Well, we can throw in a. a um, I guess we can throw in a third if we wanted. Yeah. These are by Peach Martins. They have all. They have all kinds of products. Uh, ink products and, and water, uh, concentrated watercolor products. I'll show you what the label looks like. And these are um, the Spectralite, because there is a diff couple different ones. So make sure that when you're going online, like if you go online, the labels will look, uh, or if you search it, the labels will look the similar for this one, but they all have different names. Come on. Oh, there it went. God bless it. There we go. Let's see. 
they are pricey, but they're super fun. And like I said, they when they mix, sometimes the way they mix. Um, so what did we decide? You cut top more the green. Okay, so she we want more of the the, the teal than the turquoise, which I'm fine with. Okay, we got our purples. Taylor says more green one too. Yeah, I think the consensus yeah, was the, the more green one. The only thing with the Prima is if it's not an acrylic based product um, and it's not an ink product, you're not going to get the same um, workability and it's not going to be permanent. A lot of uh, water soluble products are not permanent. Um, they move with water or, or anything liquid for that matter. Um, so that's the only thing. I don't know. I don't know the Prima. Uh, I know of them. I just don't know them. I've never owned um, theirs. I also use like things like Magicals. I like to use. I have a couple different um, uh, powder products. Um, I, I like to use Lindy's. Oh, Lindy's is one of my favorites. Um, did we say we wanted another color? Purple. I got purple. Of course I got purple. Of course I got purple. And I guess whatever else you want to choose. Um, somebody said, oh, Isabel said pink. I don't know if I want to go pink. Think no, please. Gonna... Please just, no. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go here. What what about kind of a um like not a brown, but more of a uh, an antique -y color? Would that look good? Well, don't go uh we're going to get there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind. I'm going to my corner. <laughs> no, by all means, ask. Um, oops. Now, this is India ink. So, this is also permanent. It's dry, right? So, right. It's the same thing you have in like your, 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 um, what is that? These pens, the, the Faber Castell pit pens. Their ink is it's a, it's the same kind of ink. So I had a few of these left. Um, that, so I pull I put a little bit of that in the mix. Um, Has anybody ever discussed what's the difference between the pit pins and the Posca pins? Well, the pit pins are an ink, whereas the Posca is a paint. Okay. Yeah. Po the Posca pins are acrylic paint pens. Okay. Whereas the pen pens are made with India ink. Yeah, I have both, but you, you would not think that I wouldn't know any difference in them because I use them both for the same things. Absolutely. Try to clean out my thing. I might as well do it since I got it open. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have stained fingers again. I'm probably going to, I want to try to come on tomorrow if I can. Um, in the afternoon sometime, not sure, because um, I want to finish our purple, our purple bit. Um, Piano roll. Yes, um, but I also, uh oh, did I mix these? Did I mix the purple and the teal together? Let's just see what I did. <laughs> I might have goofed. Oh no, okay. <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter. You just made a new color. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I kind of want them pure at this point. <laughs> Look, don't and where, and where is my Ollie tonight? Oh, he's with mommy. We, we get him every other weekend um, on Saturday, Saturdays and Sundays. So this is our off weekend. So we'll have him again next weekend. So when I see him again, I will tell him about your button bag. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. <laughs> That was so cute when I seen that come through. <laughs> I'm like, Tammy, like, shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, we're down. We're good. I think we're suctioned enough. All right, let's do this bad boy. And I don't, I'm totally intuitive. I don't necessarily, at this stage of anything, I don't really plan. This is paper that either you can, you know, like I said, it's like this one. Oh, and I wanted to show you what we're going, what we're going to create um, and why I love making papers this way. There's two things you're going to get out of here. Unlike with the jelly plate, um, 
you're going to get a lot more visual texture than the raised texture at this at this juncture. So these papers are lovely to use on the backs of your tags and things like that. But if you look really close, you can see, come on, baby, some natural oxidization. Now there's no um, Tim Holtz in this paper at all. This is totally Shauna paper. Love, look at all that lovely texture in there. So wow. Yeah. Um, so I gotta make sure I have um, water. That paper turned out really pretty. Yeah, it did. But yeah, I don't, um, I do kind of, uh, do the power of three, um, you know, the visual triangle, and I don't necessarily do them all the same. You, you want to do an odd number anyway, I think, you know, but, but I always, when I'm doing these papers, I tend to tr go in like a triangle and kind of, um, you know, Yeah, I don't know how nice this is going to play because I put the indie ink on in here too, but I don't think it really matters. That's a really pretty shade of purple. Yeah, it is. It's like a diaxazine purple. Yes. Like I said, there's one, there's a, the middle fold, you know, I'm trying to get the wrinkles out of this thing, but you know. And some of these will have, you know, you can't, you can't, even if I tried to do, this is kind of like jelly painting, it's hard to create the same papers. Um, now I'm going to. I want to get a little bit of the purple and a little bit of the teal. And then I'm going to get, I want to get more of that dark, dark blue color. Yeah, that's what I want. And I don't care. That's why I'm using my, my glass mat too, because I can be messy as I want to be. And I don't have to worry and it can I can do four pages at a time and quite honestly with the way my the, the space my house is right now I much prefer um making papers this way it, plus it's with as Tammy knows and some of the most of you know with my issues my health issues it don't get that much to, you know that time as I used to um, and it's not as easy for me to do things as I used to. So that's less cumbersome because making dye papers like tea dye papers, man, you can do the same method with tea. There's a really fun thing way I've done it too, is I've soaked my paper in the tea and then pulled them out of the vat and put them directly on here and then put some color um, in with it. Um, it's just easier for me to make papers this way. Okay. Now, I've not done this or no yeah i have i don't know how well this is because this is fresh out of the package it looks pretty suction um but i don't know how much like i said this one spot is just not flat oh yeah it's close enough. i don't know we're gonna see what we'll get i don't care that it, it pulls up because you get um it adds to the um what, what do you call it the intuitiveness of it, the, the randomness of it. But I think this should work just the same as my stencil. We shouldn't have any problem here. Don't hold your um, your heat gun too close to the plastic. Naturally, you will melt.
Yep. And this is just, like I said, this is just less labor intensive for me, you know, to be at my desk than to stand there and, you know, because making handmade paper, as you know, you got to do whatever you're going to do to it, you know, whether you soak it or whatnot. And then either you put it in the oven or you put it out, you know, lay it out and let it dry because you get to kind of pack either way. But yeah, that's just too labor intensive for me. Um, so I'm changing, uh, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, what do you call it? I think, uh, using this method more, but, um, the more, uh, we're going to play a little bit more in the, in the coming days and months, um, with papers. And then at some point, or probably in the main sale, um, I'll sell stacks of paper. It is. Awesome. What did you say, Tammy? I was going to just say Isabel wanted to know if it was photocopy paper. And I thought you said it was. Yes. This is gonna take a hot minute. This is the, I mean, dyeing paper takes a long time either way, but I mean, I guess unless you use the, the oven method, I guess that would be the simplest and fastest, but this does take a hot minute, which I'm okay with. Taylor, I do the same thing, but I put my paper out in the sun. Yeah, in the summertime is easier. Yeah. Yeah. Mobility is a is a hot issue. <laughs> no. My son realized yeah. that there's yeah. a bar. Yeah, making the, papers can take you two to three days, depending on which kind. If it's eco dyeing, it could be even more than that. Yes. Yeah, I call her Izzy. Oh, which I cut down the other papers and um, your orders. If you ordered buttons from me, you'll be getting your. Um, your pieces of paper because I've, I've got them all ready to scan, um, cut them all down, they're all ready to go. So I just need to scan so then I can put them in your package. Wait for those, two. I ordered the envelopes, they were supposed to be here tomorrow, so let's see. And then I can send you guys your invoices, they're all ready. I just need to do the shipping, but I won't know until I get the packages. You know what, too? I should have done the suction. Um, I don't care. I'm going to have um, ink on my hands, but this washes off. Ooh, those inks that we were playing with the other day, those puppies are not, not take a while to wash out. <laughs> I still got little tiny bits of blue. <laughs> a couple of my cuticles, but I can't get it out.
called in in the last week, what are we talking about? You know, something. <laughs> Jules, hi, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better? I'm sure they do, Taylor. <laughs> Dying and um, my walnut uh, crystals. That's fun too. I will just prefer this method. It's easier on me to do it this way. Plus, we're going to be making, well, you'll see. I'm not going to tell you where we're going from here. Look who it is. Hi, Ron. Welcome in. I see some more people coming in. Some more faces up in the clouds there. Ah, you're my mod, girl. You're my mod. Holy, I love you. If you're not familiar with Lorna Taylor. She is Taylor Made Journal, and she has a Etsy shop. And she is our lovely friend across the pond. In, in addition to Isabel, who is also across the pond there. <laughs> love it, hot love. How you doing? How you feeling? Joel, can we say you're being too quiet? Don't be shy now. Does my camera look so good? My camera looks so good. Oops. There we go. I know that. Across the pond. <laughs> Yeah, be behind on showing your project. And everything in between. I hear you, girlfriend. Oh my God, I was so sick this past week. So, you, you know, guys, Sunday, you know, our butt, button extravaganza. Uh, 
can't turn into a live sale. Um, <laughs> remember I think I had a migraine? This I had the worst migraine spell for the past week. It, it lasted from Sunday into like yesterday morning. I was so sick Monday and Tuesday. I was, oh my God. I was so bad sick. I was like, no, I ain't doing it. Go to bed. <laughs> But some family, I'm like, I didn't even check Messenger. And it's not like, it's my phone, and it, I got an iPhone. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, it did something stupid, and now I don't. It won't show me that I have a Messenger message unless I open up Messenger. And I don't always remember to open up Messenger or to, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's something with Messenger and the iPhone, and a couple updates. Is this not working right? And I've checked all my settings for notification. everyone are you drinking coffee i i am problem no this is just going to turn it to uh, another yeah. maybe button debacle <laughs> it could. you never know with me it's good I, I, we're not gonna make that many papers. Although some of the girls, the last time I did jelly, when we did jelly printing paper making, they, they tagged some papers. It's like, okay, I need to scan them for the members. You guys can have the originals. <laughs> I think it's not what. Yeah, I think you got one or two. Chris got some. Isabel got a couple. Shirley got at least one. Splash coffee on there. <laughs> Splash coffee on there. <laughs> I've got tea in the fridge, but it's nice and cold. It wouldn't really not to die all that stuff. I like it at room temperature. Yeah, I, I don't like real hot coffee. Oh, I do. I like dark coffee and I like it to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. And a nice dollar for cream. Oh, nice, Lorna. I, I mean, I could go run. No, this is coffee with cream, or this is. I could go run a cup of coffee, but we're just, just, just hold on, you guys. I keep changing my voice. Oh, uh, you're probably talking about when I didn't have a voice for a while. <laughs> and then it's back now. <laughs> yeah, Lorna, Taylor Made Journals, that is her channel right there. But she doesn't do videos, only except to show her beautiful journals that she makes. But she does have an Etsy shop if you're looking to uh, ch check that out and follow her. And she's got Tons and tons of digital, lots of them are huge. Um, like I said, she makes journals, she sells those. Uh, she makes stamps, um, like, you know, uh, red rubber, or, well, it's actually more of a gray, but um, she makes actual rubber stamps um, with vintage designs on them. Yeah, Taylor, we used to go to the Baltimore Aquarium all the time when my kids were young.
Aw, poor baby. It's always tough when they wake up from dreams. Um, well, we can, we can talk. Um, I'm going to be, I'm trying to finish up a, a large project that I'm working on and I don't know what, what, what kind of time frame that looks like right now. Um, you know, so I'm not, my time is limited and that's why I cut back on the design team and stuff because with my time, my desk time was limited. Um, I really need to focus. So I can get my projects done. So, but we can we can talk offline. Um, I'm just you know we'll we'll talk offline. Oh Taylor, I'm sorry to hear that. Honey, I feel you. I feel your Stencils, I think it'll be it's a little bit faster with the stencils. Um, because this is kind of even though it's thin material, it's kind of heavier. So I think it takes longer to dry the tablecloth than with the stencil. But maybe not. I don't know. So this does take a hot minute. You have to be patient. But even though it takes you a few minutes to figure and dry it, you can get instant gratification, you know, providing you end up liking what you make, <laughs> you know, colors and all of that. It's a plastic tablecloth. Yeah, plastic or vinyl. <laughs> so we're gonna do we're gonna do some more stuff with these papers. Don't go nowhere. Chris, you still on the tour, honey? You're quiet. Are you are you working in your craft room alongside me? Um, no, because it's not close to it. It's not melting it. It's just drying it. I have that too, but this, this usually is faster. I use, and I especially use my, well, you've seen the jelly plate. I use my cool uh, air dryer for my jelly plate too. Oh, fun.
plus I didn't um I didn't um do a pickup sheet before I dried these. Need a new fence now? Or need a, uh, need a new fence? What do you need a new fence for? Yes, thank God. Although my, the start to the new year for me wasn't all that great. <laughs> I'm hoping this year is better. You're six days behind. Yeah. Come on, baby. You guys want to put um, coffee on here, okay? Or hi, Joyce. It's me, Tammy. How are you? Big hi, honey. These things don't soak through to the other side as much as like this one does. These things do. So this they didn't soak through as much. Okay. These things are better for that to get both sides. But let's just let's just keep going. Exactly, Lorna. Every day of my life, it's you know. I know, you know. Too busy drinking it. <laughs> well, you go for it, girly. <laughs> okay, I just want to pop the top leaf and get one of them dried. Oh, girl, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. It's for the birds. This is my second time in life going through it. dry it and then we're gonna um i have a coffee coffee spray i think let me the homemade uh, coffee is Thank you. 
I think it's see, but this might be the this yellow combination I need. Oh gosh, no, that's the yellow one. I must not have any more of the tea that's in my car coffee. All right. Let me go run a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. A yapper, she's not even my dog, but Mia, enough. Hold 
Hold on. Jeez. Gosh, guys, sorry. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, so, because I forget there's two Taylors in here. So, Taylor Made Journals is Lorna. Taylor Hoover is Taylor Hoover, and she is actually Mimi's daughter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love Mimi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for those of you that didn't know. Okay, so, so far this is what we got. It needs to be dry yet still a little bit, but you can see some of the design happening there. I'm gonna do one with coffee just cause you guys asked and I'm okay with taking detours. Yep, I think I like the other inks um, because it goes through the back. Kind of what I thought Could be magical. I be magical this way too. But, but wait, there's more. Don't go nowhere. We're not done yet. Isabel, don't brag. <laughs> I just want to make sure that this ink is completely dry so it sets before bringing in more liquid. disturb some of the color but most likely not because it's all and another way you can do it to like I think I said it earlier but you can you can dunk your paper like you normally would in your tea or coffee dyeing process and then bring it out and do it but your you'll get a total, you get a different kind of sort of, it's slightly different, similar, but slightly different. Let's dry that up. And Cat brought me his toy and apparently he brought me some lint too. I do try to work clean. Oh, I missed it. Son of a, that's okay. That's fine. This is, all, it, this is gonna be probably tore up anyway. Dirty winter car. <laughs>
because none, none of you want to go on a date again. <laughs> you love it, Izzy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what are you up to today, Gag? What have you been doing with yourself? Hmm? Ha ha ha. Inquiring minds want to know. Not looking at scammy humor. <laughs> Okay, so now you guys gotta start thinking about I'll give you away what can I say? Um what would you add to these as like uh like you know flowers or um you know that kind of thing? Like what would you want to add to these? You don't want to train another man, right? <laughs> His kids ruined my face, so he is back with me. <laughs> I, Lauren, I hear you. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. Lies. See, I take a crackled stencil or a stencil that has crackles in it and like put some gold through it and put it on the paper. Uh, well, we're going to do something. Something. Oh, I put it in the title. Never mind. Y'all know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, stenciled paste. Okay. But wait. Wait. Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> <Smart ass. laughs> True. <laughs> right? Like that. <laughs> and your point is? You never look in the mirror. <laughs> and in your head, you're so 24. Yeah. Uh huh. We are 102. Yeah. Definitely. Mirrors are for exotic jelly plates. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Chris has seen me do this before. Giggs has seen me do what I'm about to do before. Mm
I mean, it's nothing, you know, earth shattering. But you get a completely different look with this than the jelly plate. And um, some other things that I'm going to do. I want the paper just mostly dry just so I can handle it. We are, Taylor, we are. <laughs> yeah, Joyce. for girls i mean like i said are we looking uh, like you know boho sea flowers something and it's not for the stencil the stencil really has nothing to do with why i'm asking you guys that question i know isabel wants steampunk but not, I, I don't know about that <laughs> you wrote with stenciled paste yes i'm going to stencil some paste but the, the reason why I'm asking you the question has nothing to do with the, the stencil at the moment. Oh, it's something different. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, let's just do this. Are you stamping? Nope. You're going to see. Okay. I like that one. Maybe something more geometric. One That's moment. a stencil. I know that's a stencil. <laughs> oh, maybe this one. And maybe it'll kind of get her. Okay, let's do this. We can, well, I'll start on this one. That way Isabel can have her. Not really, but. Crack a lanch, one second. Oh my God. What does that one look like? What did you say? What does that stencil look like? I'm going. I'm going to show you. Okay. Chili bean. Chill. I don't. I don't recognize it. I know. I'm going to show you what the time. Oh, I need to get grab a piece of foam. Car stock. One moment, please. Going into the vault. This will do. It's a Cinnabare stencil. I have like almost all her, all her ones like this, plus some other ones, but there. Okay, we'll do that. Let's try it. Okay, now, the only thing is, is we might change stencil. I don't know. I have some paste that I want to use. Uh, again, products I need to use up, so, and I just pulled out all of them because it's what I had. So this color is. Um, oh, those are the Prima chalks. Mm -hmm. I love these things, but I really need to use them up. I don't use them as much. I like the white, but I also have like, this is English country. It's kind of like a. Uh, I a have all of those. Color. Huh? I have all of those. Yeah. I, have I don't even think I've opened them. Oh, these are fun to play with. And these are really good with water soluble products. So and then this one okay. is um, Turkish coffee, and it's more of a brown kind of color, or you know, coffee kind of color. Um, we have peach. We have a light orangey kind of sand color, water drop color, which is like a really. Um, this is like a. 
this is like a seafoam blue and this is like a seafoam green and this one is called aquamarine versus water drops one's more blue one's more green and then i have i don't have the white anymore but i have a little bit of the vintage lace which is another off-white kind of color so what do we want majority let me see if i can narrow it down a little bit i'm saying no to the peach and i think i'd rather use the english coffee than the darker one i think well, okay, at least, okay, and the next one, okay. Of course, um, um, no, I'm not feeling, I don't think I'm feeling the blue or the green at all. No, let's use a neutral, we're gonna use a neutral. Oh, I also have gravel, which is more like a, this is a really nice, pretty, like, gray color. I like that dark brown at the very top. So, brown, moose poop, of course. I know you're going. <laughs> you and Isabel will get along great. <laughs> right, Izzy? Let's see, this is a nice, nice gray color. So, but we want the brown, eh? On both, on both of these? No, not that one. The one that's on the uh, table no, at the not. very top. That's what I'm saying. You, we, are, we want the brown. That's what you're saying. Oh, I at least on one of them. Okay, so a lot of people were saying brown, so we'll go ahead and we'll choose the, the tarfish coffee, which is, it's a really, I don't know, it's a really nice, pretty, interesting color. Anyway, okay. And so, and then the gray, we want to do the gray. I'm okay with the gray too. All right. Chris, you know. The gray may be pretty on that other one. Huh? The gray may be pretty on that other, the, the darker one with the um, the coffee. You want the gray on that one? You could do that. Yeah. The coffee one on this one. Okay. Now, I'm not going in everywhere with this. Let's see. I have a lot. And these, these have left. I've had these for, oh, gosh, like two years now? Three, no, three years? And they're still... It's, it's it's like chalk paste and paint together. It, it's not permanent though. Uh, I mean, unless, I mean, it, once you like, um, it, you can watercolor paint on it, it's, it's, and it'll capture it captures the color really really well. Um, okay, where's my palette knife? And do I want it this way? Oh, do I want it this way? Well, hmm, maybe this way. Do we want a portrait or landscape? That is the question. It's not going to really matter. Until I, I mean, you know, in the next step. But we need to decide now whether which way we want it. We want it landscape? I want to bring it down a little bit now that we're a little bit uh, beyond the paper making business. Landscape or portrait? Um, mm -hmm. What is the decision? Land, oh. land doesn't matter. Landscape. Okay. Since somebody piped in, I got a couple landscapes there. We're going to go landscape. Get 
What did I do? Oh, I got some on the back. Well, fudge. Scrape it off. Eh. It's not, it's, it's already oh. like smooshed into the paper, you see? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you can't, can't really do that. It will dry. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about it. Again, I'm not really doing rhyme or reason, but I do try to, I like to get the edges. Um, then we got one, we're done, we got the next phase after this, which it'll be, and then the final phase is the bottom watch. Do one, one, one way. I know I'll pull another stencil out for the other one. Since we're doing that in gray. Let me, oh, I'm out of wipes. Oh, I forgot to, um, crap. I'm going to need to, I should have brought a thing of water. Run those to the sink in just a minute as soon as I'm done with the other one. And these, if you do decide you want to get some of these, like I said, they're great with watercolor. They're great with acrylics, inks. It, it doesn't matter. Um, these are really good because they're chalk. It's, it's chalk based um, instead of acrylic based. So it um, soaks up color. But make sure you wipe off these the edges before you put the top back on. You're less liable to get one that won't open. Um, but it's easy cleanup too. On any mat, it'll come right up. Ink's not so much, okay. Eek. Okay. Um, she, she agreed with me, she agreed with me. <laughs> Down the video real hole. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mammy Mammy Banter. I don't I've never heard of her. Mammy Banter? All right, Taylor. The rest will be on recording for you, hon. So have a good evening, Taylor. Have a good night. Rest well. Take care. Be good. We're just giving the whole, we're giving her the whole boot. Get out. Exactly. <laughs> Love you. Love you, Taylor. All right. Love you too, Taylor. All right. Let me get a different stencil. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh no, you the, the, we wanted more steampunkish, eh? Hold up, hold the phone. I have steam. Uh, well, no, I gave her the steampunk on that one. That's right. I was gonna, I was gonna change it, wasn't I? That's why I was getting out a different stencil. Okay. We we'll use that one. It's one of my favorites. You can see it's nice and dirty because I use it quite often. Um.
And I also I was telling, who was I telling? Oh, it's been this time too. Um, I was telling somebody that I'm gonna do probably a video series of just making uh, backgrounds, uh, not backgrounds. Well, master boards and backgrounds. Um, I may do some live. I mean, if you guys really want me to do them all live, I will. And I know you guys are probably gonna say, oh yeah. But it, I'd be able to get through them faster if I'm not on camera. Um, or, you know, not live on camera. Let's see, let's do. Hard part is deciding which way I wanna start. I think I'm gonna start like that. All right. Sometimes. Let's get some here. Now, are these soft, Shauna? Get what? Are the chalks soft or gritty? They're super creamy. Okay. Yeah, they're just like gesso or, or, or that. Okay. And I got some of my shirt. Um, this one I might, I might turn this way. Yeah, they're super, they're, they're super creamy. And like I said, I've had these for at least three years now. I do want to try to use them up before they decide to go bad. I mean, they're not they're not bad now, and they probably got a long probably got a long way to go. But you know, I'm just trying to get rid of the used stuff that I. You know, sometimes you just get to a point where you just got to use stuff that you don't use all the time. Um, yeah. You mean like my whole art room? Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of like where I'm at right now. So. Then we're gonna do one more thing to it. Well, a couple more things to it. Yeah, this was a good choice. folks. And it doesn't really matter because you're going to see in a minute that really, I just, I like to turn it as I'm working. It ensures uh, that it's going to be random and um, I'm going to run these to the kitchen sink and, um, and to, uh, you know, more intuitive rather than be right back, guys. Oh, I'm back here. Um, maybe I'll get my Coke, my cherry Coke. 
Good night, Joyce. I hope you have a nice evening. Sorry, but don't don't leave paste on your stencils. Usually, if I'm using paste, I'll use a white piece. If it's just ink and paint and stuff, then I don't care. But paste is really not good for your stencils. All right, now we gotta dry this. You love which? Oh, that flourish, the Kim Holtz flourish one. Yeah, I kind of I, I smushed that spot, but it's okay. Like I said, it's not gonna, it's not gonna remain whole. And another thing about this, this paste here, is it's soft, creamy. It doesn't dry like stiff, hard to where like if you bend your paper, it's not gonna crack off because of the creamy nature of it. Um, and like I said, it's 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 nice that if I were to when I if I were to bring in color around this, it's gonna soak it. It's gonna soak it, and it's really pretty. I prefer like using white when I'm doing this, but you guys want color, so we're gonna see how it how it behaves. It's the next step. Oh, I squished that one too. I must have been my hand. All right. All right. Um Okay kids, have a great night, hon. Love you. You need these in your life. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot I. That's why I keep getting gray everywhere. I'm like, what is it doing? That's also, I think, because of the nature of it, it typically will dry faster than um, a paste, but not quite as fast as gesso, although it runs a really close comparison to gesso in, in the drying time. Um, unlike a paste, typically takes a longer period of time. Too bad, like I said, I ripped, I ripped it, but I was not as careful as I usually am. But it is what it is. It's not to remain whole, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it could, but this is, when I put paste and stuff, it's generally because it's either a cover or something I'm going to use, uh, you know, cut this up and use it to collage later. I spilled some resin. Oh no! Oh resin. Um, you can't use a palette knife. If you don't. Do you have a palette knife? Have you tried popping it off with one of these spatulas? I don't know if it will though, because it's you know it's resin to glass. Um, you could try heat setting it. get it nice and hot and it might pop it because I know if you if you glue something down and you want to take it off without leaving a lot of air issues use a heat gun to heat it off and then you won't have problems um, 
So it may work the same way. I don't know though, because it's not glue, it's resin. <laughs> you might be um, SOL. See how much easier that that ink washed off compared to that other blue stuff I had on for days, and I still have a oh my goodness. Heat it up, yeah. Get your heat gun nice and hot, like as if you were doing an embossing. And then, uh, you know, get it hot, then bring it to your to the spot and let it really uh, heat it up really good. Um, and then get a met metal spatula or maybe even try a butter knife and try to pop it to see if it'll pop it. You might get lucky, no guarantee. Try it. Okay, let's see. Also, if whenever you're using paste too, if you hold your heat gun real close to it as you're drying and just hold it there, it'll bubble. They get nice little bubbles. Let's see. There's one. Here's a see how it got to go. Ooh, sorry. See, see all that bubbling there on that? That's from holding my heat gun um, for a second or so. <laughs> You're welcome. No, like I said, no guarantees, girly, that it's gonna work. I like I know I know it will work with you know gel mediums and things like that. Um, but I don't I don't know um, with resin. I've never I use a plastic mat um, when I do resin. down a little bit so it's still uh, if it's still cool to the touch then it's not dry yet and for the next step you need it to be dry like if i was doing a mixed media piece and if it's not quite dry it's not the it's not the end of the world so the next for this next step though you really want it to be dry We want steampunk on this one. Let me just make sure. Next one we'll do a floral. Um, Over 
this case I want something um, I know I have some like um, let's see here what am I trying to think steampunk napkins um, but they're um, very much on the brown side um, I don't know And I want something that, I want a napkin that has um, like something like this where it's like white or cream in the background, but it has a lot of detail. Um, but no, okay, so. Yellow, no. This is my beloved napkin collection. And this is only my small ones. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's gonna look good. No, not really what I was looking for. I had to see what that was going to look like against that. <laughs> yeah. I really prefer napkins that are uh, very neutral, white, more so white or cream than um, anything else in the back, you know, the background color, because it's easier to do what I'm about to do. Well, it's really the best for what I'm about. Hmm. Hmm. But see, it's not white. That's actually a really pretty napkin, but no, it's not white. So mm, no. Again. Oh wait, what's this one? It's got florals on it. This one. Uh, and it's got purple, a little bit of green. What do we think? That's one. We could just do um, for this one. Kayla. Hey, my love. Hi, honey. How are you, my love? Um, where this? I just just saw one. Um, I just saw it when I was flipping through. One moment. Um, hello? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. I know I have some more of these too, but we could just put, this might be a good one for here. Possible. Not necessarily, it's not steampunk. Oh, there, there's the rest of them. But nonetheless. Oh, right away, you guys can see what I'm kind of what I'm doing here. A lot of these ones right here are newer ones. I've recently acquired. That's why they're not in the right home. So not what we're looking for. I mean, and of course, you know, mix match, whatever. That's too much. 
Definitely not. Not feeling any of those. That would be a good one, but it's not the right color. Not the right color range that I'm looking for. I really want a white back, white or cream background. I could do this one. It's not, again, it's not, um, not necessarily, no, 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 no. Oh. Definitely the right color green, but missing the purple. But it could be an option. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I look nice on this one. Is this lighter? I'm not coffee dye. Stay up there. Hmm. I might get a good one on there too. So. Let's see. Catch up on chat. A <laughs> boatload of that, yes. Yeah, and I bought I I I uh got a couple yesterday too. Or no, this morning. That'll be on their way. Not that many, just just I know you know, I ordered from somebody, not an acquisition. I really want one that has more purple on it. Um, sort of maybe, I don't know. No, no one will see them. Sometimes I have to compromise. I don't like it, but you know, hey. No. Nope, that is definitely not in the wheelhouse right now. Pink. Um, nope, nope, nope. Could just do this too. It appears I have to get some more purple in my life. There's one. Too bright and not the right. Uh, might work. That's more blue than teal. So no, nope. Okay, that's all the dinner napkins. Or the, um, what do you call it? It's not dinner. The, um, I forget what it's called. These are the dinner napkins. We went through the cocktail napkins first. Hello, Missy. Missy is in the house. Uh, Diane, right? Do I have it right? Tell me if I have it right. I don't have it right. I hope here's some purple. Let's see what we got going on with this one. Oh, that one's Good pretty. evening, Diane. I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so we found a little bit of purple for this one. I'd really love to find something. Let's see what I can find. <laughs> That's why I said the napkin really has nothing to do with the taste being stencil. I'm just kind of, kind of, I'm kind of matching it up like what, uh, mm, you know, kind of matching it up a little bit, but not really. I'm matching the napkin to the colors and I'm, I put the paste with its own kind of element ish type thing. That makes sense. Layers, girls. Mixed media is all about your layers. Oh. Yes, Shauna twisted my arm to come on tonight with her. 
I did. I said, Tammy, get your butt over here now. Not really, but sounds <laughs> good now. <laughs> sounded good for a minute. <laughs> oh, that sounded good, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I do. Oh. Hmm. I know. Oh, it's kind of pretty. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. I love that bean app, Ken. I have that. Mm -hmm. I have all kinds of different. Um, I mean, I'm skipping fast. You guys Lorna, it was fun talking with you tonight. I hope you have a good evening. Good night. Good morning. I love you. Be safe and healthy, my friend. Yeah, and don't forget, Shauna might be on tomorrow to finish her piano roll. Yeah, we're doing the, we're going to finish the Tim Holtz at Purple piano roll story tomorrow. Hopefully. And there's a story. Well, the whole thing is a, a story scroll, but uh, we're doing, oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I thought that's got, hmm. Really didn't want floral for that one. Either something geometric or something steampunky or you know, patterned is fine. I really don't want necessarily a focal point uh, too much. It has black and white to it. More than one. Oh, <laughs> funny cats. I like um, that one. What, this one? Yes. One yes, it's nice. Oh, here's a tail one, too. It's got gray on it, too. Oh, this might be the one. But no, actually, it's too, no, it doesn't have enough white space. I mean, it would go on there, and it would be beautiful. But what uh, you, you see more if, you, if your napkin only has white space in the uh, background or a cream uh, a white or cream with this best for this process but i am looking through everything oh maybe this is just it's kind of grayish um, no, again, too, too, it was lighter, and, and so it was, but it's too dark. Again, you're going to see why in just a minute. And then you're, then you're, you're going to ask me why I did it that way. And I'm going to tell you why. Versus how you would normally see somebody doing this. And other people do this on YouTube. I've been doing it for years. Then I started seeing other people do it. Like, oh, it's like they're reading my mind. Gila, all night she's been asking us questions about what we want on the papers, in the paint color, and the chalk color. And she doesn't even listen to us. She just does her own thing. That is a lie. Lies. <laughs> They're lying on me, Hila. <laughs> giving her a hard time. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Right. This is what we're dealt with. I think the napkins you have are pretty. Yeah, okay. So you get the choice of one of these three for this. Let's concentrate on this one. We said it's gonna be, it doesn't really matter horizontal, vertical, whatever. Because again, that's not where we're at right now. Okay, so what are we... What do we like for this one? This has got ge like geometric shapes, gears, not gears, uh, like geometric uh, shapes in the background. You know, it's the one we use the Prima stencil on. So we've got black and white. We got oh, like um, that grayish, tealish turquoise napkin that, I, that we love, that I've used before. And then this one. So which one do you guys Can want? you open up the square one so we can see what it looks like? And it's not going to go on just like that. You right. 
trying to get it. There we go. You guys can see it around the colors and the design. And let me come down a little bit. At least I fixed my camera issue. See, I kind of like the one that's on the very right, just because it this looks like the darker color is matching the, the chalk paint. Okay, so no black and white, okay. And so then you guys want this one? It's got, it doesn't have any purple in it, but it does have some nice greens and tealish colors. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. everybody's saying the middle one. The middle one that you had with the circles. They're more um, like boho type. Um, what do you call it? Mm. What are those? What are these? Uh, Mandala, uh, or, Mandala. Yeah, the Mandalas. Yes. Okay. Mandalas it is. I'm fine with that. That's one of my favorite napkins in all time. Okay. We're going to do that one. Then on this one, we have, this is the one we got the gray paste and the coffee soak, uh, soaked in uh, in the background. So we can either do black and white. Oh, that's another thing. Don't worry about the, don't worry about the background. Being white, there's a reason for it or cream. This one has some, some yellow and some pink, but it also has some purple, little bits of green, and it might be a, con, a nice contrast to that that's going on. But again, anybody who's my mod has seen me do this before. The ones where it's white, don't worry about the white. It's not going to show. And then we have this one. Um, I don't know. I think this one's too yellow. So I think one of those two. And again, don't worry about the background. Keep you guys a, show you guys a secret. Not really, but a lot of people don't know about it. So you may or may not know about it. Yeah, I gotta, we gotta finish the, the purple pen tomorrow because I gotta get this stuff, I gotta clean my desk and don't wanna put it away because then I just gotta pull it all back out and then that's just nuts when I'm in the middle of a project. Let's see, what are we saying? Large purple flower, black and white. Okay, we got one of each. Come on, 13 people. Tammy, what do you think? Oh. Everybody can vote. Do you like the, don't worry about the white. This, this, this white, you're not gonna see it. This cream, you're probably not gonna see it. So don't worry about the background color. Worry yeah, about I think I like the purple though. I think that would be pretty on that. Yeah, the purple one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what we go with. I'm okay with either. Okay. Then I'm going to use matte medium. Golden matte medium is the brand I use. If you use Mod Podge, I'm not a Mod Podge fan because. Well, I just have issues with Mod Podge. However, um, I use Golden Matte Medium. It's it's one of the best. And, you know, there's this, certain things. I, I'm all for use what you got and, you know, use what you can afford. Uh, but when the, t when the time comes to it, and if you're going to, if you're thinking about selling your work, especially if you're doing mixed media pieces or paintings and things like I do, um, not this so much, because this is just, uh, you could use, I, I've used clear gesso for this process and met medium, but there's something to be said for, you get what you pay for. And when it comes to my medium, like gessos and matte mediums and uh, any kind of collage items, uh, I, I use, I do use top brown products. Um, and that's just because I know that um, I know what I'm getting when I use those products. I know that they're not going to. What did I do with my tape? I know it's going to stand the test of time, right? Plus, 
depending on what you're you're doing with whatever you're making this not so much again this is just play and this is just stuff that you can use for collage and things like that on your tags and things like that but if you're doing something that really you want to stand the test of time yeah you probably you probably want to use some some um, artist grade is what I would say products don't want to I, just, I don't want to lose the corner necessarily I try not to uh, let's see I want to salvage most of what's in the I don't want to tear the butterfly And again. Okay. A lot of people are going to ask me why I didn't put the napkin down first. There's a reason for that. There's always a method to the madness, usually. Unless I'm completely just playing, and then it's just, you know, it doesn't um and I'm not even gonna, doesn't really, oh, well, that matters, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> not being delicate enough. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm just tearing, doesn't really matter. Um, I got my water dirty. That's okay. How dark is it? Okay, it's not. There's something that happens when you use a napkin over your paste rather than on your, under your paste. It allows the napkin, especially if it's got a white or cream background, to completely just soak into the paper. Um, actually, let's put that one not so let's put this one over here. And I just put it down and I dab it. Again, using the matte medium you want, you do, if you want, uh, you know, if you don't want any rips, um, you know, just be gentle. Napkins are delicate after all, but, and you'll see the paste is not so um, in your face and yet the design completely dissolves into the paper. I mean, it's on top naturally, but let me, let me finish this one and then I'll put the other one and then I'll dry it. That way, I'm not wasting time doing craziness. Is that one that I had? Okay, yeah, it's this one. And if you dab like this rather than rub, you'll you have a less chance of uh, two things: the less chance of it ripping, um, and more of a chance for it to really go into uh, uh, the design around the stencil part. And it just pops right through the white. And then here, here's no proof right here. Put this one over here. And 
and then wait, we're not still not done yet. But this is just this is the quick part. Once you do the once you do the paper, you're you're golden. That's the longest part. It's just doing your but you know what you could run through a whole bunch of backgrounds i mean i'm doing some special things today but you could quickly make some tea paper and then put some paste down and i i, I will say that i typically like to use white paste um, any kind of white paste rather than the colored but again trying to use these up <laughs> um let's see let's do Um, Mod Podge is rub. It's Mod Podge is just rubbish, regardless. Um, and I know people say, "Well, I drown." You know, you can drown your projects with the Mod Podge. First of all, I, I hate it. It doesn't layer. It doesn't. It, it's just. It feels so fake. It doesn't. It's just sticky and yucky. And but it also, in my opinion my humble opinion just my opinion you do you and there's nothing wrong with mod podges that's all you have i'd rather you be creative than not be creative so you know there's that but something to be said for a better grade product is all i'm all i'm saying should i show you my thumbnail it doesn't really matter you kind of looks good let's see a lot take this off right there. just so this one This piece was little, so we'll just put this one. Just take this off so it's not got a straight edge. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can if you're doing just if you're just doing our journal pages. My pod is perfectly fine, and if it, if it sticks in your climate, just put some. Um, rub wax over it, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, there's that. But wait, we're not done with this. I'm just gonna do more. Um, don't you, don't you worry. Let's do it this one down this way. And you can cut, water cut these napkins if you wanted to, but oh, let's do that side right there. Um, I, for this purpose, I'm just tearing it. Um, I usually tear or water cut, but for this process, I usually end up just tearing it. Now we may not get uh, so much, um, we won't get so much, what do you call it? You're not gonna probably notice it too much other than the fact that you get the texture from the paste through the napkin. Like you're not gonna get, um, see like it's covering, that's what I, I was afraid of. It's, it's, it's uh, covering the paste rather than uh, with the white that it, it falls around, it falls around it. Let me make sure I got that all the way on. So there you can kind of see it coming through a little bit right there. Well, you'll see when it dries. You'll see more when it dries. But I think this napkin is not going to give us the contrast, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that at all. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that at all. Trying to think, you know, think of if they was on tags. Uh, <laughs> or I would place the tags or journal cards. Um, can use this process in any mixed media, like if you're 
doing like if I be doing like one of my mixed media back uh, journal covers. I just you can do the same thing there too. It's a it is a gorgeous napkin. Welcome in, Sandra Louise. Welcome in. Welcome in. I see some more faces coming in. Some more people up in the uh, night, Izzy. Stay safe and warm, friend. Good night, Izzy. Have a good night. New name. Welcome. Welcome, Sandra Louise. Oh, we have a new friend with us. Oh, you son of a. I ripped it. Dag nabbit. That's okay. Nope. I'm not like that one now. Oh, seriously. Okay, which way do I want to go? Here I have to you know my desk and be ready for our, our playtime tomorrow. I've got everything right over here. I have not moved it in two weeks. My desk is a mess. Okay. Let's um Again, I prefer the, the white or the cream background, but I did not have one. Purp I got to get some purple napkins. I guess I'll put that on my shopping list because I don't have enough purple. That's purple. just a disgrace. I know, and I like purple. I mean, I, you know, hey, what the heck? Well, yeah, you're, I mean, you, you, this would be a good example right here, how you're going to, okay, let's put this one over here while I let this, while I dry this one, I'll get the rest of the way. What the clip do you do? Oh. What? Aw. Come on. What's wrong with you? Oh, this is the low one. Why is that not? Oh, that's not good. This is my expensive one, too. No! <laughs> this is the first time it's not. <sighs> no, it'll go to the low speed, but it won't go to the high speed. Oh, what the flip? There we go. Must have had something in the little button. <laughs> it was not going, it's not drying. I'm like, it's never not worked before. Let me see what you'll be watching while you play. Fun. We're going to together. Yup. 
Right? This is what I'm saying. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. I should have done a piece where I, I, I should do a, a demo where I, um, or I should have done a piece now where I showed it the other way where I put the napkin first and then the paste on top. So you guys can really see the difference and the way it looks. I know what, where, what, where I went wrong with my ghost printing too. I didn't do the, the cleanup print or the overlay pickup before drying it. I forgot a step in my own process, you see. It happens. Another way to help um, flatten out your paper, drying it from both sides. To me, it makes it look like it, it melds them so they're together versus, let me see, do I have it? Do I have anything that has any napkin collage on it? You know, the paste will cover up. If you put the paste on top, it's going to cover up some of the, the, the design of the napkin. Whereas if you do it this way, it's like it melts the paper and the background disappears and, and, and the design is still connected or you can see it on top of the piece. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, baby, focus. Come on. Come on. Hello. Oh. There we go. You can see it on the on the bigger parts here close. I wanted to show you. Come on. Focus. Sorry. Trying to get it to focus. What's the deal? Come on. Let me get the light difference. Let's see if it will focus now. There we go. And see how it's on top of the paste? It's like it's connected. It's all one. Like there's no break. Whereas if you put the paste on top, you know, it's going to cover up. Um, on the napkin. Then what I do, let's try the other one really quick. And I usually just sit here and this, I need to say that's a nice little butterfly. Um, and I'll just make a whole bunch of papers and like an assembly line. And then I'll do the first layer and then um, come through and then do this other layer. And then final layer, and I'll show you a couple of examples. Let me show you one that's got white too. Let's see, I think I gave away all the really pretty ones, but we think I have a couple left. Oh no, I didn't put them in there. What? Where did I put you? They're not up here. Apparently not. Mm -hmm. 
up here. That's what I did with the motor there. Um, nope, that one doesn't have a lot of teeth. Nope, I don't have any more. But this one I did too, but this one doesn't have a lot of paste on it. But I mean, you can see the layers with doing the napkin over the paste there. When you really want to make sure that your layers are dry in between oh. before you go to the next step, otherwise you have a mucky mess. You're quiet, Cam. What are you doing? I am watching you. Oh, okay. You just sitting here watching you. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm here. No, I'm just watching. Because it, it's this fascinating to me that it has almost melted right into the paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never done it this way before. Now what do we get? Well, hold on. We'll do, we're going to do the last. Tila's seen me do this before. We're going to do the last part. And it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to cut this off so we can make it quicker. And it doesn't really matter. You can pull whatever, you know, obviously whatever piece. Oh, do I don't want that one. Let's do, oh, that one doesn't matter. Let's do this one. Um, let's say I want to make, let's make a journaling card or a tag. And I'm just going to. I'm going to fudge it for now. Again, it doesn't matter. Did I cut off all the edges on that one? I'll get to the other one later. Save camera time. Let's see. Let's do which is a good tag piece. Or ATC. Let's do that. Uh, no, I really want, we'll do, we'll do a tag. We'll do a tag. I'll do a couple of tags. That way you can see it. Because ATC is smaller naturally, right? So, you know, get one that so you guys can actually see. Save that piece. That piece, that piece. I save all my napkin bits because I use those too. What especially if I'm doing something like this, I have a whole bag that's just that's just scraps. Um, where do I want to do it? I think actually I'm going to do it this way. Just because I'm going to put something else on it that, why is that so light now? Weird. Weird. And I'm just going to put it wherever on here, just as long as it's straight.
too much water on my brush. In the beginning. So, you know, that's okay. It makes the paper more pliable. There we go. Nice and flat on there. Put that over there. Make more of a mess. Where's the one I really want? Mm. Yeah, I suppose. I'll just use the whole thing as is. Instead of, you could even get more fans here with it. You know, this becomes collage paper, basically. You've made your own scrapbook paper. That's what it boils down to, really. And use these how you would use um, scrapbook paper, collage paper, whatever. And this paper, because it's 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 either a copy weight or lighter paper that I use. So a lot of times I'll use tracing paper. Um, it's already pliable because it's a thin weight paper. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, because I knocked myself off. Oh, well, stop hitting yourself in the head. <laughs> That's not cool, man. <laughs> and since we've already collaged and dried the napkin, I can kind of be as rough as I want at this point. It's not gonna do anything to it because it's already adhered with our golden matte medium. And you might get air bubbles too. Uh, but this, for this, for tags and things, it's not um, an issue, but if you're doing um, this kind of thing on a cover, you definitely want to make sure you get all your kinks out before you completely dry the whole darn thing. You do get an air bubble you don't want, just take a small pen and pop it and then put glue over it again or collage medium. You could do this dry if, if uh, but um, because of what it is, I, I, you know, I'm, and I'm using a big piece, I wanted to collage it down. So that's going to be the tag. Okay. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut it and everything. Else in there. But then we're going to do one last thing. Yeah, I'm almost done. Good night, Chris. Good night, Chris. Hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to try streaming tomorrow. But, um, but it should be able to. I don't know what time. It'll be probably in the later, you know, later, like, I don't know, 1, 2 o'clock or something like that because um, I'll probably be sleeping. I think I'll be up all night. I, I, I'm on a, my insomnia is not right now. So, um, yeah, there's that. Hello. You're back? <laughs> Let's remove that one. Add that one. Okay. There we go.
actually, and let me um, make sure you dry um, fully um, before you try to cut. That, I think. Hello, pretty tat. Um, sorry, I wouldn't drive by, move that way. <laughs> you said my way, cat. You is in my way. Ah, get, get out of there. I think we can. I think we can. Hmm? Oh, this is not dry. See? What happens when you don't dry it? That's okay. It's going to get cut off. I'm trying to hurry because I'm on camera. going to get your whiskers cut off. No. I'm going to show you the, next, the last part because it's going to really like boom. I hope. Usually it does. Now, that one little spot does not like me. Okay. What do you want, Pretty Pat? Maybe we'll move it down the bottom instead of the top. What are you doing? I want to go this way. Cat, I don't know what you're trying to get into. I'm 
And then, oh, where did I put you today? Okay. I like to, you could take ink, you know, Tim Holtz or whatever your favorite ink of choice is. I like to use this one. This is one of my favorites. You know what? Let's use Hila's. This is the one Hila gave me. We'll use that one. Actually, uh, these are the only two I bought out of all this. Hila gave me this set. That's the one we were playing with the other day. <laughs> and I broke the box and I broke one of the jars. So I only have nine now instead of ten. Um, where is that other one? I'm going to take a, actually, let's get some clean water. Oh, we lost everybody late at night. Shh. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is just water. I'm going to turn these, these suckers vintage here in a heartbeat. I'm just kind of lightly going over it, but definitely the edges. And where's my with my with my these things? Usually, I don't put a brush inside the bottle. I don't like to contaminate. I'll mix my own. And the reason why I like to use liquid inks for this, because it wicks differently um, than, um, and unless you, I mean, you could wet it, but you could wet the Tempo's Distress Ink, but this is already wet and I can just go around and I can, I can just layer up if I want, but it also, And you're gonna probably you're gonna see it more on this one because um, it's lighter in color, and everything lightens as it dries. Um, water soluble products are just like that in nature. You can bring some in. I can bring some down here. And there's something also with doing it this way that and then bringing in the liquid inks and and, and you're going to see here in just a second so i'm going to show you so you could put your get the, the the liquid distress ink um to do this better than the stamp pad in my opinion but you're going to get that wicking you're going to get that and show it it'll show it around here more than anywhere else Let's see, let's let that dry here a second. And this, now you see why you need to have a uh, dry it in between layers. Um, so you, you know, because I'm re-wetting it yet again. Um, See how the ink will travel when it's wet. And it will wick out a little bit. And you get that natural, it get it when you get a natural ease, and it doesn't look so hmm, let's say contrived. And I find that a lot, but you can bring it in and two. So get out your ten holds liquid if that's all you have. I prefer using um regular like inks like this Ooh, that was a dark corner and i don't go you'll see i go kind of i don't go all the way around like um, i'm outlining and i'm kind of just go hit or miss so i have some darker places and some lighter places and let the color now this one i'm i'm going a little bit heavier than i did on the other one only because this was supposed to be steampunkish so I'm going to be a little bit more heavier handed on this one than I would normally. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Well, thank you, Sandra. Yes, this is this is the one you got me, Hila. This is sepia, by the way, and this one is fountain pen inks. Um, and you could probably find it on jet pens, or maybe Hila can tell you where she got it. But this is diamine. Oh, this did you get this on the same site you got the other one? Um, this is the diamine, same as the ones, but a, a different kind of ink. See, because this is diamine too. They're both fountain pen inks, but it's different kind of inks. But this is sepia and this and this one particular one. And then I have another one, this one that I love. Um, and this one is uh, comes in a box like this, and you can get this on jet pens as well. Um, and all like all you can read is that it's uh, 60 cc's and um, the pigment ink brune sepia. Um, so it's you know a lovely sepia color. But this one's a little more like this one's darker. This one's a little more brown or red, like that. But anyway. But yeah, I like using inks as you inks and watercolor as my go-to for sure. Um, and I'm gonna let's just lighten that up a little bit so I can pull back if I want. Same with like the distress, but I think I don't know. I think that the way because of the way these inks travel um, versus Tim Holtz, which there's nothing wrong with Tim Holtz. I'm just, I'm a fountain, I'm a, I'm a regular ink girl. So that just is what it is. Just getting some really dark spots. Yeah, I'm going in there. Okay. And then, oh, again, everything looks thicker when it dries, so I'm going to burn them. Dana, you've been lurking? Okay, that's awesome. Glad you came in and said, or came down from the clouds. Dina, uh, Dina, Dana also screams. So if you want to subscribe to her channel, she was on earlier today. This could go in a, a steampunk journal. It could go into a, um, like a, 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 not, a, not an ocean or, or mermaid theme journal. So I'm gonna bring in this down a little. Come on, baby. Come on, folks. Oops, I hit it. Let's see, come on, oops, sorry. Stop moving. I hit the camera, I hit the camera. There we go. Look at that nice rich color. And how the napkin has blended in and you can see it over over the piece so it's all like one piece and then how the the bringing in the the shading or the you know sepia or whatever color i could have came in here with purple um you know what fine let's just do a little something something let me find my purple because i know i have purple not green because that's one of the the, the green the dark green is the one I here let's do um the dark green is what I broke um let's just do which no wait this is not this is not the one I want where is my darker one nope nope This is. Let's, I can, let's try this one. Everything will combine them. We'll do them both. Oh yeah, this is the one. So I'm gonna take up just a little bit. Again, you don't want to contaminate your jar, so I'll use the cap. What's in the cap? Um, yeah. Let's 
bring in a little bit more purple to this one, shall we? Okay, that's fine. Might be too, it might get too dark because um, depending on how it's going to to mix there. Um, let me try the other one. I'll definitely, I'll have to, uh, let me, I, I know I have to do that. I need to put that color in a couple of the places. So I'm just going to put a little bit down there. And then you get, once is a mistake, three times is a design element. That's your, that's your rule of thumb. Okay. And then let's see this one. There we go. That one's a little bit pinkier. Um, that's okay. And again, bringing in the colors around that pace. This gray is going to, this gray is lighting up now. You're going to see it. And I love, I always put the color on usually after my uh, sepia color because I like the way it mixes. Um, and if, I find if you put the darker color on top, it's too loud, it talks too much. I see that because weren't you on too on Monday or something? I, I was dead sick Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so I don't quite remember those days too much. <laughs> and another thing too that you get with the liquid ink versus the, using the pad or in a, in a dauber is the way it blends um, behind or under the napkin. That's why you're gonna you're gonna see it here. You can see how it looks. How I just I just think it blends better. This one on the back is is got a little bit. I don't I don't worry about that because I can always either put something on it or um, you know I can I can hide any 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 issues. Put on a little bit of ledger paper collage or something on the back. Plus these are kind of thin at this point because it's just one layer. So trying to layer it up. Um, so now let's see, actually, let me start up here. Come on, baby. Where are you? There we go. But see how the purple has now brought out how much more the stencil design and how the color is like on top of, but also underneath. I love using napkin for that purpose because the color just. Mm. And we put some of the purple here with the brown and how, see how it blended out. Come on. Like if I wasn't so shaky, maybe. See how it not, it's like now part of the background. Like now you can just put whatever you want on top of it. And again, this could go in a sea journal. It could go in a steampunk journal. You could put these um, as ATC cards. Yeah, super fun. But so again, just run through, make a whole bunch of papers. Um, and I'm gonna do another another run because I want it more. Go I want more ghost papers, and I'm gonna. I'll you. I'll include a um, a coffee batch too. But we won't go this far with it. I just want to make the, the initial papers. Um, but these for for the members and the mod, because I only had when we got 
reason why I wanted, another reason why I wanted to do this today was not only to play and show you guys this process because I love it. It's very zen. Um, I only had, out of all the papers we've made in the past couple months, we only have 30 pieces. So, and I usually like to do five to seven per month, depending. Um, so I only had 27. That was too odd of a number for me. Um, so I wanted to include uh, some more papers. So these three that are left that I haven't done anything with yet, these are going to, these three um, are going to get scanned in too as well. No, that's not the one. That's not the one I want. Where's my other one? Oh, I did two already. That's right. So that's only a cleanup paper. But you know what? We can, I can use that. Oops. Yeah, because I did not have enough paper, but I might, um, yeah, because I also need to, we also need to work on January. I want to start doing it monthly. So one of my mods needs to keep me on track that we, we do some papers um, live monthly. Um, uh, maybe this, uh, we'll do master board papers next, um, and I'll scan those in for January. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do, but I got to. You guys got to remember, something's got to remind me before the month is over that we hit, we do a live paper run. Because those I will do live for you guys. I always do. Any of your the papers that I make, they always go live. I always do them live. Um, Barbara Hamilton. Okay, so we did those two. We got these two tags out of it. Super pretty. They'll go into my batch. Into my, um, what do you call it? Yeah. Into my stash, into my stash, and these people will go in my to use later. Um, now, let's just for just for I want to see just because uh, I'm a little OCD, or what do you call it? I want to do a quick. I want to use this one instead of the white one. Just want to do a couple quick papers with this one. Let's see how how we can come up with it and what colors we want to use. Just and we'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm going to do more ghosting on this one. Need some I need to order wipes tonight and because um usually I just wipe my desk down with a baby wipe and done. But gotta do it old school with a rag this time. What the heck? And how are you, Barbie doll? How you feeling, hon? How's the hubby? Uh, let's see. Let's move this over here. Right over there. Oh, I need to get some clean water too before I start again, really quick. Let's see. Those will go. Those will go. Maybe I want them like this. I'm trying to see which way I want to capture it. I think I'm going to do it that way. So. Back to back, can I fit two? I can, I can, I can. Of course I can. But I don't know if it's gonna fit the whole design. That's gonna be the question. Oh, that would be perfect, right? Like that. Okay. Very good. Um, I'm gonna try to capture some of this. So I'm just try to put them down to where I can or put this down when I put it down to capture a lot of the bordering that's here. So yeah, all right. First things first, we gotta make a mess. Oh no. Oh honey, what did they say? Because I knew you were waiting for the, the results for that. I mean, if you wanna talk about it. If not, we can talk about it offline. Oh gosh, give them a big hug for me. Marky Mark over there. Oh, 
auch. Patsch, come on. I am just not with it today. Normally, I don't have any placement problems. No, I, yes, honey, but I mean, what's the, what's the prognosis? What's the plan? Like, you know, how's he feeling? Is he feeling okay? Is it going to be chemo and radiation? What, what's the? What are they? What's what's the, what's the matter with Marky Mark? Gonna make... I mean, I know it's cancer, but her husband's had a lot of um, issues, um, cancer, and a couple different places, and yeah. So. I don't know. Is it going to capture both? Oh, yes. Okay. Come up just a little bit more. Oh, and not the doctor. Okay. Is it in the same area as the last time? Do we know that? I'm just asking all kinds of questions, but I, I love Barb and her husband. They are a couple of the sweetest people I know. Okay. What color? Not purple and teal. Oh, Tammy left us. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Barb, what what color do you and what what color do you want to see? Oh, I need to get some water while you're deciding on that. And the same, yeah, those two, yeah, I, I, but it's the same long this time. Oh, gosh. All right, positive vibes, love, and hugs coming your guys' way every day, but definitely in my thoughts and prayers. Give Mark a hug for me. Tell him, stay positive for sure. He, he beat it a couple, twice before he can beat it again. Um, Did we, did she say a caller? Let's see. No. What two colors do you want to when you, do you want Barb? Give me the colors, lady. What do you want to see?
burgundy. Okay. What other color you want with it? Or, or do we just want to, you want a darker complement? Kind of like monochrome. No, I have, I have, I'm gonna, I have, I have, um, this is a really dark magenta. Um, and I can add, um, Let's see, let's add here. I can add this one. That should get me what I want. Let's see. I'm just going to test something. You want, uh, we have a lot. I do have a lighter one. This one. I'll show you on paper. So tell me which one you want. And is that one? It's more on the purple side. Um, but I, what I was going to do is I was going to take this one and add, watch, wait, I show you. Wait, and it should be this one, no. Um. <laughs> um. No, let's use that, use that and then I need um, oh, here, this one. This one should be what I want. Let's see what this what, what this does. And then I need this one. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a color. much but that's this one no that one i think it's just that one's too purple for me i think we use this one Now it needs a, it needs, I think it needs the, it's going to need the, the blue. And I might, I don't have, so I don't have what I normally have in my watercolors. So I'm trying to, what did I do? Something was, I don't like I got that one either. I want it more, more red than. Just crap in my bag. Let's see. And then I put oh, I put too 
much glue in there. Dag nab it. It's all right. It's all right. Just put another drop of red. Balance it out. Let's see what we get. Might still be too, too dark. Ooh, that's dark. That's way too purple. And I think because I put too much blue in there, I'm not going to get what I want. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. I will put that uh, ink on something when I'm done with these two. Um, I'm going to put more, more red base in here. Okay, don't be afraid to mix your colors. Which is a nice color. Illegal fireworks happening in my dog. All oh, the doggies are freaking out. Yeah, the blue is nice, but it, it got it way too purple. And I, I, my, I don't have, oh, there we go. It's a little bit better, still a little bit more purple than I wanted. So we'll just add it. I gotta keep the blue away. Blue needs to go away. And I might need to, um, should be, oh, that should be good. She wanted more red base than purple base. Where did I put you? Um, no. Hello? Uh, oh. Losing it, girls. I'm losing it. And it may seem like I have a lot of, uh, that I'm wasting a lot of, but really this is just a drop in the hat. That'll, that'll, mm. still more magenta than I want. Um, How's it going to fade out? Hmm. No, I'm not liking that. Which is perfect. This one? This last one I just did? That's the one you like? This one? That one? Which one? Uh, it's not, it's darker. Uh, the colors are darker. They're the right tones, but they're darker on. And, okay. All right. Fine. We'll use it. I'm good with it. It's fine. Because you never know what you're going to get. What what color do we want with it? Do you want an offset or what do we, what do we want? We just did te teals and, and purple. So I want to do something opposite of that. Um, red kind of goes with anything. So whatever. Now that we, oh, you want to do, okay. Um, which blue do I want? Not 
that one. All right, which one of these do I like better? That's good. I might use that one. Oh, yes. Definitely the darker one. Okay. These inks, liquid inks really do go really, really far. Um, because I'm not even um, putting but a, a little drop and I'm get, you get a lot of pigment um, for that little drop of goodness. Okay. Do it just another go. Give it a go. Um, it's going to be really white. Ooh, we could add some gold to this. This would be a perfect one to add gold. Just saying. It's going to be fair. The, the design makes me think regal. throwing it in there. No, that's not that one. Okay, it's not that one. It has to be this is it. Yeah. This is it. over there. Don't want purple, Shauna. Stay out of the purple lane. All right, let's, let's see what we got. That's, that's what we've got. Everything back, we go along. Um, yeah, we're gonna put, um, oh shite, almost did it again. To take a piece of paper and line it up and put it over there. And I like to make sure my 
<laughs> yeah, all my lids are on because I've been known to spill an ink or two and drop them. I mean, I'm just saying. Ain't that right, Hila? <laughs> oh, crap. This should give us more ghosting, and it should give us, uh, hopefully, depending on if these, I can't remember if these things do it or not, but they didn't do it on the last one, but it's probably, it could have been because I missed this part of the process on the earlier one. The whole object is to keep everything suctioned before you dry it. Now dry. Yeah, we'll put a little bit of gold or the copper, but a little bit of gold I think would look really pretty. We'll see how this turns out. You dry until the top paper pops. And then you dry it the rest of the way so well, for a little while longer. Then you take your, your stencil or in this case, uh, tablecloth, and you wait for that to pop off. And then you can just dry it off. Thank you, Sandra. So what did you do today, Hila? Oh, today's Friday. You worked, right? So how's the job going? How's Bill? Tell him I said hi. I don't know. There was already stuff on this uh, liner because or this uh, tablecloth thingy, runner, whatever. And so we got it at auction, but that's okay. So if something transfers from this rusty, orangey, probably tea stain, probably tea and coffee, I'm okay with that.
Mm. Never mind. I'll leave it. Y'all are so quiet. <laughs> what kind of art do you do, uh, Sandra? And are you new to my channel? Or you've been here before, but you were a lurker in the past? What's your story? Inquiring minds want to know. And the colors are darker, a little bit darker. They're the right colors, but they're a little bit darker than what's showing in the screen. And I don't know, um, because these are smaller openings, I don't know how much um, uh, oxidation that we're going to see, like we've seen on the orange, and because it's not a stencil with big holes. It's very tight, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. The stencil looks pretty. Barbara, what you been up to other than um, how are you? How are you doing on your orders? Barbara sells with uh, Liz and uh, Nelly and Katie and I um, in the market. Um, Barbara, if, uh, um, is your store open now again or? Or are you still down because of the, the sales? Got new magicals. Oh, can't even can't even think about it. What colors are colors did you get? <laughs> is it a brand new uh, set that's out, or is it one from before? What, what's colors in there? Tell me all about it. Oh, I should have put some color through this. I see that now. Oh, 
Yep, I should have put some more color. So we're gonna see. Probably should have put more color on these little it that skeleton. I don't know how much offset we're gonna get on this. We're gonna get some, but I don't know. Oh, not off, well, offset, ghosting, whatever you want to call it. Dutch Desserts by Alexander Renke. Oh, she's awesome. Words of Wisdom by Natalie May. Sea Talk Story by Mecca and the New Magical Sisters. Ugh. Lucky dog. Yeah, I don't know what time I'm going to come on tomorrow, but I definitely want to come on. I want to finish our, our, uh, our purple temple storyline. I do notice that um, the vinyl tablecloth runner thing don't um, lift up as quickly um, or as much as a stencil would to tell me that it's done developing. So I'm going to kind of, I got to kind of look. Take a hot minute. Oh, and I was telling the girls, he led that uh, I'm going to run some videos um, of paper ma making um, and, and masterboard uh, collages. Um, I might do some live, and, and if you guys want me to, I'll do some live, but. Um, I'm probably just going to set probably do some videos about music or talking and just do it on a fast forward um yeah that way i have papers made not only for scanning for you guys but for the members and the mods but um so i have it for journals and the vinyl seems to be a little more forgiving than um i mean it definitely is more pliable but it feels like it's a little more forgiving in terms of the heat after he was so cautious. Good enough. 
yeah, because it didn't have big, the bigger the hole, the better um, you're going to get in terms of your um, design and um, we lost some, you know, not much. Just had a lot of um, wider space because of the way the thing was designed. I love, I love to watch it develop, like developing the photo. Uh, I think that I think that 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 particular one, this particular um, doily of uh, tablecloth, whatever, will look really good um, with the darker coffee uh, um, dyeing rather than um, mixing the colors because the holes are so tiny. And I would definitely, I think, situate it more. Uh, well, I'm going to see because it's not as wide as the piece of the paper. You're going to get it more vertical. I would stain them vertically, but then, you know, this is going to the journal. And like I said, if you want to do the tea dyeing or the coffee dyeing, the best thing to do is uh, let your paper, you know, soak your paper in the tea or, or coffee bath, whichever. Um, pull it out. That that becomes your like how I was spraying water and wiping water. That becomes your your water element. And then you could offset it with the with the with spraying the stencil part with a darker tea or a coffee. I like how we got that squishy bit right there. <laughs> how it feathered out. Yeah, it almost doesn't give much detail in terms of, and with the tea, tea dye, smaller, so you can let it sit and let it dry on its own. I will say that the, the fount inks are a little bit nicer because they go all the way through in terms of coloring the paper. Bring you guys down so you can see some of what's happening on the paper. And then normally what I would do if I was on camera is I'd just let these dry by themselves now. Um, I want to see how much um, ghosting we're going to get, if any. And I don't know um, how much to get with these. I can't remember if these inks not getting, nah. These inks are a little too heavy. 
think to get the ghosting rather than the like penny. And I don't like that um, doily. I like the first one for this, but not the second one. Second one is butter for two dimes. I think my humble opinion. My humble opinion. And since I didn't get the the um, design that I wanted, I still think pin bowls on it would look good. Like going all the way around, like depending on what you're going to use it for. But bringing some gold in in places would be pretty. Why is my, oh, that's not right. My camera is, I moved it, you see, so now it's all crooked. It's a little bit better. We're going to have to test that. We're going to have to see. I think the, the pen inks, the calligraphy inks, get a little bit better in staining um, than um, giving me the, um, and Magical do it too. Magical, any of the sprays, I can do it. Definitely the calligraphy and pen inks give the ghosting. Let me get that here. But we did get some nice grungy, grungy bits. So if you tear it up, don't use it as a whole. You get some nice grungy element. Come on, show the texture. Some nice, some nice speckly bits. Come on. Come on. Are you going to show it? Oh, for heaven's sake. Show it. Here we go. Look at that yumminess happening right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to add all these to the to the stuff. And then tomorrow, all this and get scanned. And then you guys are all set all the way up through the end of the last year. You know, I'm a little little late to the party this year. So, oh, that doesn't go there. So, that's it. That's all. Have one, two. Oh, and then there's also the negative or the, uh, the offset too, which you can get. There's a pattern there. You get a lot of, um, and you can kind of feel it. The offset paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
This one. Yeah. I think I like I think I like the negative paper better. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. See, and here you're getting here the, the, the negative on this one is that, that's so funny because the negative is the one we're getting a lot of the ghosting happening but there's been no pigment versus this one which we didn't get any got some but not really a lot it more so just captured the elements of the that's why i like using stencils better I think I'm going to stick with stencil. These aren't bad. I like these. They're just not what I wanted. I wanted more of the ghosting. I wanted more like this. See how it has like the, the prints like ghosted and then like it, it's got the natural oxidation because it's got bigger. It's just, yeah. This is also a mask, not a stencil. And this is somewhat both. I don't know. I like these. I think I like these even better than the other one. Let me see. Maybe not. I do like some of the bits in these. But I think we got more fun, more uh, more detail, I think, you know, than the positive. which is usually reversed. I do, yeah, I do like the ghost thing that's happening there. Yep. So when that fully dries up, it's going to have a lot of nice ghosting on it. Anyway, it's going to be dry by tomorrow. I'll be able to scan these. Hopefully, I'll be I'll scan, I'm going to scan these before I get online tomorrow. But tomorrow, the, the plan is to do finish up the Tim Holtz story. So that's all I had, my friends. Thank you, everyone that was here earlier tonight that uh, stuck it out with me till the end. Um, hope this inspires you to, to pick up Pick up your inks, paints, sprays, magical brushes, whatever. Make yourself some paper. Use stencils, use vinyl tablecloth. You are all set. And probably all asleep on me now. So <laughs> I'm going to say goodnight. And thank you all for being here. Lots of love and hugs. Stay happy, healthy, and creative, my friends, and I will see you next time. Bye. Love you, Mahila girl. <laughs>